Welcome to the 2022 marker review of Erleman Cadizet with a hint of Rickston added in. It's 2023, Happy New Year everyone. This is a rundown of all things property from last year. Who out there is still going to write 2022 when they sign for things for at least two or three months? I will. Putin invades Ukraine, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth passes and that disastrous budget which led to a new Prime Minister. There were protests in Iran and back home. There were plenty of demonstrations by climate change protesters. The weather went from heat waves to floods to minus 10 temperatures and numerous key workers decided to strike. All this in a single year and I didn't even mention Harry Kane's penalty. Oh, oops. I was incredibly proud to be shortlisted at the Negotiator Awards for three awards. The best estate agent in the UK, the best estate agent in the North, East and West and Community Champion of the Year. Where the team headed down to Mayfair in London for the prestigious award ceremony. We had a great time. Let's move on to what you are here for to see what has happened in the property market. Over the past couple of years we have seen a mixed bag of results due to two things, Covid and stamp duty. This year the biggest influence to the market is interest rate rises. There were eight interest rate rises in 2022. Let's see what that's done to the market. Let's look at overall figures first before we break it down. Houses put on the market in 2020, there were 390. In 2021, there were 384. In 2022, there were 391 houses placed onto the market. Isn't it incredible that such similar amounts happen every year? Barely any difference over the last three years. This just shows you no matter what, people always need and want to move. Let's look at the more important figures, sales agreed. In 2020, there were 362 sales. In 2021, there was 380 sales. But in 2022, there were just 260 sales. That's a drop of 120 houses. It's a great indicator of how the market has reacted to the interest rate rises and also house prices as well as energy problems. In the postcode WA36, which covers Hollings Green and Rixton, as well as areas like Birchwood, there were 172 houses listed with 104 sales made in that area. Let's break it down month by month. So back in M44, 2021 saw the busiest month for listings being March and July with 42 each. Whereas this year saw the August being the highest with just 39 houses put on the market. It's amazing how trends have changed over these months, all being very, very similar to each other. On to sales now. In 2021, March was the winning month and had 41 sales agreed. And in second place was August with 40. Whereas in 2020, there were 54 sales in September. 2022 results show the best month was February with 43 sales. Apart from that, over half of the year, we couldn't even get over the 30 sales mark per month. Let's see what interest rates did to these months. Here's the same chart again. This time I've highlighted the month rates increased. As you can see, after the March increase, things did seem to take a nosedive with that disastrous mini budget on the 23rd of September. Thanks, Kwasi Kwartang. With only eight sales in December compared to 22 sales in 2021. In 2021, there saw a drop in houses reduced as prices were increasing so quickly, there was just 80 reductions in the year. In 2022, we reverted back to the norm with 124 reductions, almost half done by one agency in the Earlham area. Some people will say all estate agents are the same. I need to dispel this statement and I'll do this by showing you that is simply not true. There are agents out there that simply put the home on right move and wait for the phone to ring and that's all they do. And those chances might be able to get away with it in a buoyant market, but as this market changes, so will estate agents' results. If we look at the daily averages on right move, the areas saw an average of 102.8 views per day. Oliver James achieved 116.4 above the average, whereas one agent achieved 83.4 views per day. So quite a big difference there. Also using comparison site GetAgent, current performance shows Oliver James achieving 99.9% .9 of asking price as an average with an average sale time of just five weeks. Pair this to the two other agents in the area that shows one agent at 97% 
and another at 96%, averaging a sale time of 10 to 11 weeks. So massive differences on those three figures. More views, more money, more time scale. My method is more marketing, better quality marketing, and better service to both buyers and sellers. I hope those facts above show that not all agents are the same. Highest price sale in the area was by Oliver James with the sale of Ellesmere Farm. This was previously on the market with another agent for 600,000 and advertised over a year and a half. We sold this one for 715,000 in just two weeks. If you're still watching, then thank you for your time. 2023 is going to be a difficult for the housing market. When was the last time you had your home valued? I offer a yearly property market MOT where I pot round every year to give you an up-to-date value. Whether you're selling or not, it's always nice to know what your home is worth. I just wanted to say a thank you to all the home sellers that entrusted me to sell their home in 2022, and a big thank you to my fabulous staff. Keep well, happy new year, and I'll see you on the next video.